Hello, my brothers. Welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Cast. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a rematch here with Quickly spawning in the bottom left-hand corner. Barracks in the bottom right. And if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link up here. These two met just a little bit less than a month ago on the ladder. Um, they played a game on Dark Origin. It was quite the back and forth. I won't give you any spoilers, but was a sit carrier game out of quickly and yeah it was a lot of fun i i think it was one of the closer games uh for like a carrier uh battle on dark origin that i've seen anyway most of the time when carriers come out they either surprise the terran player and he gets completely overwhelmed or there's like some sort of back and forth uh, maybe the carrier player just gets way out of control uh, or the you know there's a big uh, attack by the Terran player right as the carriers are coming online and they just never get online but it's rare that we see like a long back and forth between the carrier and Goliath player where it kind of looks like the carriers are gonna win and then it looks like the Goliaths are gonna win and then it looks like the carriers are gonna win again and it just goes back and forth back and forth that's not something we see all the time but that's what we got in our last a game that we had between these two and I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to be pulled out here in this series I say series but we only have the one game unfortunately not a lot of quickly replays have been coming out um, recently but hoping to see more from him has really proven himself not only against barracks but against the uh, heroes well look at this oh my gosh almost gets that SCV and I think he will actually get that. That's so low. There it is. He does finish it off. That is some uh, that's some snow level probe control. Able to kill one of Barracks' early SCVs. Very, very annoying stuff. Behind this, we've gone one gateway into Nexus. He's just going to send Zealots across the map. Try to pressure while going for this Nexus. And he starts the gas right after that. Second pylon as well. So, um, no second Zealot. Just going to go ahead and get into a Dragoon, I think, after this. But he wants to try and slow down the CC as much as possible. You know, we've already had to produce quite a few Marines here. We haven't built a bunker just yet as barracks. Oh, almost managing to get on top of that Marine there. But really good control so far from barracks. He's going to target down the probe. Very nicely done. That probe can body block and slow down the Marines and make things uh, troublesome here for barracks. So... Good job. Good on him for getting rid of that. Oh, turning around here. Going to try and get some more hits on these Marines. Oh, one more hit. He will pick that off. There we go. Does get one Marine, but one Marine for one Zealot. That's not bad. I mean, pretty fair trade there. However, the Nexus is done a lot sooner than the CC. So quickly, maybe getting a bit better of a trade here in terms of the early build orders. Uh, of course, killing up the first, that early SCV, really, really good. So I would actually give him an edge here. But uh, it's not over by any means at all. We've got a bunker on the way here. The CC is going to come up. We'll have to see what Barracks wants to, to do here on Retro. Retro, um, we've got this base kind of in between the Protoss and the Terran. Uh, also, if we're going to go for Reaver... It's pretty quick to get to the uh, natural, but it's a long distance to travel all the way around and get into the main. Um, so you can put up turrets here and then slowly add on more turrets in the main base a little bit later. Uh, if you know the timing of when the Reaver is going to be coming out here as barracks. Whereas if uh, Protoss was down here and barracks was down here, you kind of have to build turrets everywhere all at the same time because it's pretty much the same uh, flight speed or flight time to get over to that base. Um, another factor that's going to come up here is probably this base right here. I think we'll probably see barracks try to push for this. Because on this position, we've got the two ramps. They're very, very close to each other. Placing your tanks right here and sieging them up will allow you to defend this ramp. So taking this base is very easy so this is probably one of the better 
locations to spawn. It's either top left or bottom right are two of the best locations to spawn on this map here as Terran. Uh, you can just see here the the space between these uh, these two areas here. If you put a bunch of tanks right here, they can't quite reach the ramp here. They can kind of reach the top of the ramp, but they can't really reach uh, in this area here. They can't reach the bottom of the ramp. Uh, maybe if you put them like right there, maybe they can reach like... It's so hard to tell. Like, yeah, pretty close, pretty close. But just understand that it is a little bit more difficult than right here. Look at how much closer this is. Look at how much closer that is. So close. So, we may end up seeing Barracks push down towards 6 o'clock. He's gone for an armory here. Nothing out of the ordinary. A third base comes up for... Uh, prom uh, quickly, I said promise because I just casted him. Quickly here is going to slowly build up. We haven't seen any special tech out of him just yet. He's just going ahead and getting some observers out. Of course, plus one and tanks are on the way here. Nothing out of the ordinary just just yet for either player. Uh, no early drops or anything like that. And the Nexus being this early, I mean, if you're just going to go two gate, you might as well get the Nexus right now. About as fast as you can possibly get it here as the Protoss player. I'm not a big uh, Protoss versus Terran player. I don't play a lot of it as a Zerg, but... This all looks very normal and natural to me. Now, this is exciting. We've got a bunch of factories getting thrown down right now. How many is he going to go up to? How many factories is Barracks going to throw down? It really feels like he wants to throw down that fifth one. He does. So, five factory push is going to come out of Barracks here. And this is not for, I don't think, just taking another base. He's definitely going to want to push the issue here. He wants to try to come across the map and actually end... Um, quickly, potentially. But with the pro the Observer here, right on top of these uh, factories, he's going to know exactly how many are coming. Looks like you might lose that Observer here just now, but totally fine with that, I'm sure. He's just going to drop a bunch of gateways on his side of the map. The scan comes down. He only sees two gateways there. So not seeing the full extent of the gateway count. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go to like seven, eight gateways at least. Um, so far, just eight. Okay, eight gateways. Pretty darn good. That should be enough to hold a five factory push. If you're just gonna go gateway man, make sure... Oh, he does throw down a Stargate and the Temple Archives at the same time. So, I'm not sure where that is. Um, oh, down here. Okay, he drops those two buildings down at the bottom part of his base. He's going to have Arbiter out in just a little minute here. Uh, but he will be relying on a gateway man defense here. Primarily losing some uh, vultures as he's trying to push forward right now. That's uh, it's a little bit rough. Don't want to be losing any of your uh, army here just before your five... A factory push out every single unit is going to count in this upcoming fight he starts plus one armor he's gonna try to slip out with some vultures make some space on the map maybe throw down some mines somewhere try to stop this probe from getting up to the top left if he can it's like vultures this one gonna be able to make its way out onto the map as well we have a good uh, pile on walls Interesting to see him put the pile on wall like this rather than on the ramp right there. But I guess I understand it, right? You, this means that even if the vultures run through here, they can't get in on top of the probes. So it's a good adapt adaptation from quickly. Coming out with some new ideas, a new player uh, who isn't really well known just yet. Good to see him thinking up some new ideas here, putting some new things together. We've got a starport on the way so eventually we are going to have um, the next layer of tech we are going to be able to get plus two as well which is very very important a lot of dragons moving up here i think that barracks may use this as an opportunity to move out on the map and actually going to take a third base so forget what i said before he's going to take a big position here 
and try to take a third base over in the center right. That's a little bit surprising. I thought it was going to be a big push. Um, but yeah, it, it just, it, it does seem a little bit funny, right? Um, five, five factory play to take a third is kind of a response to the recent meta of basically snow being so strong with reaver shuttle um that it's almost impossible to take a third base oh this is a kind of a late siege up zealots are going to jump right on top of this a lot of those are going to evaporate and he does need to pull back now but that was some pretty good trading remember this is just a two base five factory uh push here coming out of barracks with a cc behind it so uh, if this gets wiped out, he doesn't really have a lot behind this, and it looks like it might get wiped out. That's Zealots on top of the tanks. No Vulture rallies coming through, and the Dragoons here are going to be able to clear out everything. These two Dragoons need to scurry on home. I don't know what they're doing there right now. They definitely need to get out of here. Uh, they are going to be pulled back. Some mines are going to be laid. This is not the greatest play I've ever seen out of Barracks, dude. Quickly is tearing him limb from limb right now it seems but what i was trying to say is that if you're gonna go for five factory usually it's for a push unless you're playing against uh reaver first because snow has kind of shown that you can pull apart a terran who's light on factories uh, with that reaver so a lot of players started you know in response to that going for five factory in order to get the third base but you don't need five factory to get a third base uh, against just pure gateway with uh, Arbiter on the way. It's not going to be necessary. So you can take a much quicker third base. And just, you know, don't be careful. Don't try to attack into your opponent. Just come out, set up, take your third. I'm also surprised to see him take this base over here. This is the third base uh, that I was not expecting him to, to try and grab. Wow, this Nexus is getting kind of low. But... Vultures do suck against buildings. They will eventually be picked off here. Dragoon's going to come up and clear them all out. There we go. Getting rid of those annoying, harassing units, but quickly is going to start to take a big advantage here if he can get his probes up to the top left and uh, get those Arbiters out on the field. Where does he have his Arbiter right now? Um, I haven't seen it just yet. I'm sure it's out here somewhere. We have EMP on the way now. Arbiter must be... It's got to be around here somewhere, right? What, we do not have an Arbiter yet? I feel like... Um, oh, there it is. Okay, we had to have one somewhere. Good God. All right, we've got the Arbiter here. It's on the front line. He's uh just out of range of the tanks here. Just kind of containing the Terran player for now. Another Nexus going to be set up over here. All right. The uh, Vulture is just going to run on through these Dragoons and take a lot of damage. But a few of them getting picked off. And potentially another CC going to come up here. Now, on this map, if you're the Terran player, it's pretty darn good if you can get into uh, four base economy. Pretty darn good because your bases... This one at 6 o'clock and this one over here in the center right are going to kind of create a protective shield for your main and natural. Basically, you set up a bunch of turrets here. You know, scatter some turrets around through here. This is kind of your main point of weakness here because you can't really build turrets there or there. But you can build turrets all through here. You can build turrets all across here. And then you just create like a... A no-go zone for the Protoss player. They just can't get up there. They can't really do anything about your base. And then uh, as long as you can prevent them from taking top right, you can get yourself into a really good position. You can max out. And you can uh, hopefully take a good fight in the later game. Now, I think we've got recall here. However, EMP is ready. And there it is. EMP hits. And this is why... Um, Basically, Arbiter play is not as powerful as it used to be. is because Terran players are just pretty darn good at making sure they have EMP on at the right time. They're ready with their shuttles, or with their science vessels, excuse me. 
and they just they just in position they're 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 much more mindful than they used to be it, there was a time when uh arbiters would almost always be able to get recalls off but once the first arbiter gets shut down uh and it usually does uh, or actually usually the first the very first arbiter doesn't get shut down but usually some of these early arbiters get do end up getting shut down does he have a, a stasis here wow that was a fantastic stasis it's gonna cut off a lot of the army of uh barracks from coming back to help as long as he pulls this away pull it down we don't want to fight those that uh tank army there above uh in the north if we can help it he's gonna pull his army down now don't let that walk up it's gonna get completely splattered okay pull everything back get down into this natural get as many kills as possible before this uh stasis runs out all right the tanks do manage to slip by i didn't think that was enough space there but the tanks can actually go uh to the south of that they can slip past and protect this natural and he will end up protecting the natural 47 workers remain but dropping quite heavily in supply adding on a lot more gateways now but he has so much money we really do need to add on quite a few more more going up in the top left in fact so quickly is going to start to remax here pretty darn fast but can barracks make a play he want to fight is it time to a take a base b attack or c hold a position so far he's just kind of holding a position here he's not ready to attack just yet he's gonna start to move forward that's a lot of templar if he can get the snipes on these before the engagement happens it could be really really big here we go running forward gets the scan but here comes quickly a big spread on all these units emp oh but the stasis it's all of the science vessels right there that was rough dude if he can get an attack going here he can get another round of zealots out and make his way into this natural before the um vessels defrost then there'll be no emp to deal with the uh with the templar oh no he loses two templar before this fight that's brutal coming up from both sides right now that's a big stack of tanks can he actually get a great storm on these hitting from both sides wow what a stasis there six tanks in a stasis does he have one more stasis no he does not but gg is called barracks has to tap out a fantastic game by quickly and this guy quickly becoming one of my favorite new protoss players he is looking so strong um barracks kind of going in a couple of different directions though right like i was saying he went for five factory and then kind of took a late third with a slow upgrade he didn't get his like usually what you want to do is when you're about halfway done your attack upgrade you're gonna go ahead and start a starport because that means that uh, when the starport finishes, if you start the science facility uh, right as soon as it finishes, you're gonna have science facility done in time to start your second uh, attack upgrade. But he went one armory, he went for plus one armor after, and he's playing kind of a style that, like I said, is much more suited to that sort of snow reaver style whereas if you're going to be playing against this older school uh expansionistic protoss with mostly gateway army until an arbiter comes out you can take a quicker base and this base i think would have been the better choice if we can just push over here and set up tanks on this low ground very very easy to take this and you can set up some supply depots here um to hold uh, everything off if you don't want to push through here you can just set up those supply depots to defend um this is a pretty easy ramp to defend as well you just keep you know some mines over here a couple of tanks uh, while you push this location and i think that it would have been reasonable to expect barracks to do something like that but instead you know he went for that extra factory it slows down the CC by quite a bit. He went for a very late starport here, which means a very late plus two. And quickly really shut him down. He also, guys, don't forget also, he went five factory, then expanded and attacked at the same time. It felt like he was pulling himself apart, really. 
He was going for a bunch of different ideas at the same time. Plus, he threw away, you know, six vultures here as well with all their mines. This is um, another three vultures heading up. I guess he was going to set up mines uh, behind this so that the dragoons couldn't come back easily. But he goes for the attack. And he's going to run the vultures into the dragoons first. So losing a lot of those vultures in the initial part of the fight. And two of the dragoons in the top left. Dragoons, again, didn't die. None of them got hurt. I guess one of them took uh, a single mine. But he killed all of those vultures. And now, Barrack's just going to go for the push while taking the base behind this. And quickly, just he has a better sense of the game state, I think. Maybe pulling back a little bit sooner here. Like right as the Zealots die. He, he pulled back pretty reasonably here. He gets back. Waits for another round of Zealots. And then comes with the flank of Dragoons there. To just clear up this army. And I, I really don't know what Barracks was thinking moving forward right at this moment. You know, he's got his rallies. But he should know that these Dragoons are coming. Like definitely these Dragoons are going to arrive here soon. And we're still going to have rallies out of quickly. So I'm not sure why he decided to push forward here. But he ends up losing this army. And when you lose this army, you basically feel like the game is over as Terran. It feels really, really bad. Because you know that, you know, a Protoss player is going to be taking even more bases. They have base. They, they have free reign here at this point. There's almost nothing that you can feasibly do in terms of pushing when you're down to just two three tanks at this point in the game you can just keep making dragoons and zealots and, and probably just kill whatever army comes out so you know he goes for this counter attack quickly shuts it down stops the nexus from dying um does a little harassment everything's looking pretty good we do have emp really really quick which i actually i liked a lot uh, here from barracks but the plus two is very late he shuts down the one recall that we had like this emp is crazy fast that's a very fast emp so he's able to shut that recall down but i mean yeah it's rough it's rough guys the the stasis was just way too good by the way as well the stasis was insanely strong. Let's see that one more time. I was surprised to see him go uh, through this way, but it actually turned out to be pretty good. Quite a few mines over here, but most of the army is actually out in the front. Um, could have been a good plan maybe to send more zealots around this way and just try to run up into that base while the other attack is going on, but he does this very reasonably well. And, I mean, he gets the greatest stasis here on this ramp. This is crazy good. Look at that stasis, dude. It actually defends the army here in the back. So you can't you can't attack into this as Protoss. But if you can break this and run down into the base, you're going to be in a pretty decent spot. So that's what he tries to do here. Of course, it's really hard to prevent your Dragoons from walking up here and just getting completely splattered. It is what it is. Just... Protoss units being Protoss units. Dragoons just doing their thing. So, you know, he loses a, a few more Dragoons than he really should have. But, of course, he's macroing like crazy back at home. They, again, they just walk up there and get splattered. Um, those four or five Dragoons would have been very helpful here hitting the command center, hitting some SCVs. But not able to get that done. Dude, if he had actually blocked this with the um, stasis on the ramp... He might have just killed the CC here. It would have been brutally hard for Barracks. Oh, I didn't even see the base up here in the top right, by the way. That went completely undetected by me uh, in this game, but it didn't really matter, of course. So many SCVs went down there. The army is looking fearsome, but the next stasis is really the one that sealed it. You can tell that Barracks... You can really tell that Barracks has been practicing and... Maybe scrimming with people who do a lot of uh, reaver play in the early game. And who do not rely on Arbiter. So, um, he, I mean, the the quickness of the EMP makes me feel like he's got some idea of how to deal with it. But 
the fact that he just d doesn't split his tanks well uh, in any of these fights and gets stasis like crazy um, makes me feel like he's just not that comfortable playing against it. Oh, I see that last stasis, dude. This last stasis was absolutely sick. There we go. Oh my gosh. Barracks, you just got so many units on top of each other, man. The vulture rallies are coming out. You can see 140 supply. It's just not quite enough to hold a 200-200 army for Protoss. You need like 160 supply at least to make this happen. And with the storms, just kind of overkill here by quickly. The greatest stasis here. Tanks perfectly in formation. He left just enough space for him to like click T and click right on the on the ground right here. In the middle of all these <coughs> of all these tanks. So you get the perfect stasis. I think this is actually how stasis is formed too. Like let's say if this was if this tank formation was actually this way instead of this way. You know, if the, the extra tank was up here and down here, this one. I think the stasis doesn't hit. I think that stasis is actually more horizontally wide than it is tall. I think. I think when you stasis something, it's kind of like this. Like a box like that. If you get my drift. Um, rather than a box like that. You know what I mean? Or like an actual square. But um, I might be wrong on that. I might be wrong on that. I'll have to go and uh, maybe check out some videos about... Uh, exactly how that works. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's Daily Dose of Reward. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.